7 on your side, I-Team is breaking news about more potential grade inflation in D.C. schools. Ever since the I-Team first broke the story of attendance problems and grade tampering at Ballou High School, D.C. leaders have said that they believe other schools may have similar problems. And now we have evidence that shows they were right. I-Team investigator Nathan Baca revealing what we're learning about faking the grade at Columbia Heights Education Campus. Columbia Heights Education Campus is considered a rising school within D.C. public schools. Its test scores rose for the past couple years, but we've obtained attendance and transcript records that show a different story. With an enrollment of more than 1,300 students, grades 6 through 12, Columbia Heights Education Campus, or CHECK for short, is the second largest campus in the D.C. public school system. It prides itself on having one of the largest number of students enrolled in advanced placement classes. But the I-Team obtained thousands of pages of individual attendance and transcript records showing students passing required courses despite more than 60 unexcused absences in a semester. If we're trying to like cut the corners or not do everything that we're supposed to do to prepare folks for their adulthood, um, then we're really letting, letting them down. The I-Team showed these records to the head of the D.C. Council's Education Committee. I'm not surprised to hear that it's in other high schools. I was disappointed that there was so much attention put on Baloo for this exact reason. Baloo High students objected to the D.C. Council last month to being singled out for scrutiny for allegations of grade inflation. They have a point. After all, the superintendent's own investigation is focusing almost exclusively on Baloo High School, according to its own auditing contract. My reaction is, is that I'm not surprised. Uh, I cannot, for the life of me, understand the reluctance to an independent investigation. We know for a fact that the issues we're seeing at Baloo are not confined to that school, certainly. The I-Team is not revealing names of students shown on the records. Take a look at this example. All those A's mean absent. All those N's mean no excuse. And this D in the student's transcript means they passed D.C. government course, keeping them on track to graduate. D.C. public schools policy says a student with 10 unexcused absences in a semester receives a failure due to absence grade. And 30 unexcused absences in a year also result in a failing final grade. The I-Team has identified several more examples just like this one of students passing classes at Columbia Heights in apparent violation of DCPS policy. And these records show it's happening right now in the middle of the D.C. public schools investigation. And the findings of that investigation are expected to get to the D.C. Council no later than the end of the month. In Northwest Washington, Nathan Baca, ABC 7 News. D.C. Public Schools responded to the I-Team this afternoon in a statement reading, quote, D.C. Public Schools looks forward to receiving the results of the investigation about attendance and is taking steps to ensure that every student comes to school to learn and leaves high school prepared for college, career and life. The 7 on your side I-Team uncovered that story because of a tip sent to our newsroom. If you know of grade tampering, false attendance reports, or other inappropriate behavior in a school, let the I-Team know about it. Send us an email, tips at WJLA.com, or give our tip line a call.